I wasn't done any counseling, so I was just told to no kinu, meaning that you have AIDS. And I went into deep depression. That time I was living in Mombasa, and I decided to throw myself in the Indian Ocean. I lost one baby when they were two months old, and uh, one was seven months old. A staff in MSF. I think she was told about me with some other staff who already knew my story and uh, said, can you be sharing this all the time? For volunteering, we started 2003. When MSF now adopted us was 2005. I remember there was stigma even from fellow staff in, the, in the, clinic. the clinic. Sometimes they could hide the key to the toilet, so you could really, if you really wanted to, then you wait at the door. When someone comes out, then you go in. But otherwise you don't get it. So after we continued talking so much with Siama, then we could get one to other staff also sharing and saying that you are not alone, I'm also here. And that gave us strength and hope. And from there we started getting support from staff also. They thought maybe I needed some skills. So that's why they took me for the training that was called treatment literacy. It was medics uh, training the yeah. patient. And it was so complex with the PowerPoint presentations, mm -hmm. So they said, no, this thing has to be done with peers, with fellow patients. I liked the way Siama could explain the multiplication of the virus. She calls the participants, they come and then just give examples practically and it worked very well. With these certificates, I've been able to show them to other facilities and they allow me to even... Uh, give health talks to their patients or they would easily refer patients to me. I've used them before and uh, they've been very helpful. <laughs>